Africa. The only place in the world for man's closest living relative, the chimpanzee. A native to the forest and savanna of tropical Africa, mainly in West, Central and East Africa. In East Africa, Chibale Forest in Western Uganda hosts the largest chimpanzee community and commands the highest diversity and concentration of primates. Today, it's considered one of the best safari destinations in Africa for chimpanzee tracking. Welcome to Chibale National Park, Uganda's primate capital of the world. There are over 200,000 chimpanzees in Africa and Uganda hosts a quarter of them, majority of whom residing in Chibale National Park, a proven habitat to all forms of life, mostly East Africa's unique primates. Chibale National Park is a tropical rainforest covering 795 square kilometers, 26 kilometers southeast of Fort Porto City, the country's tourism city. Kibale National Park, first of all, is located uh, within five districts. That is Kabarole District, Kasese District, Kenjojo District, Bunyangabo District, and uh, Kamwenge District. This park was formally gazetted as a crown forest in 1930 before becoming a game reserve in 1964 known as Queen Elizabeth National Park, Chibale Forest Corridor Game Reserve. By 1992, due to population pressure, the government of Uganda embarked on an eviction exercise from the forested area to pave way for the elevation of the reserve into a fully-fledged national park in 1993. Kibale National Park basically consisted of the Kibale forest and then the game corridor. In those days the game corridor was under the game department whereas the forest was under the forest department. Now when the two were put together the management of that area was then handed over to national parks. The park is a habitat to 13 primate species and chimpanzees are the principal tourist attraction in this national park. We conserve both fauna and flora, that is animals and plants, but the key is the chimpanzee. Chimpanzee habituation activities have created a unique experience for the tourists and today Chivali National Park is considered one of the best safari destinations in Africa for chimpanzee tracking. Habituation is a process that we take the chimpanzees through uh, from wild uh, behavior to a behavior that can interact with the humans. You can stay with a chimp about maybe 10 meters away and doesn't harm you. I know we have been told to keep a distance to the chimps, but I think you forgot to tell the chimps because they cross us so closely, they almost push off all, all our track and say, this is my route, I'm coming here, I'm passing you. We come across the big, uh, big pack of them. I saw around 50 details of them. And it is really amazing, they just stand close to you, play around, sitting, watching. They look at you, you see, you can watch them and see how their activities are really similar to us. This was one of my biggest dreams to see the apes. Uh, and Kibale Forest is amazing. It is just wonderful. This exercise makes them more familiar with their close relatives. And when they meet, their reception shows it all. Uganda is host to a number of chimpanzee habitats, but Chibale National Park stands out with the highest chances of sporting these human-like creatures in their communities. 
this is the only place in Uganda where you can easily, you are assured eh, that when I go to Kibale, I will not come back without having seen the chimpanzees. Here we've recorded about 1,450 individual chimpanzees living in Uganda, which is about a quarter of the Ugandan chimpanzee population. You can see the, the babies are playing. You can see them swinging in the, in the trees. They are, they are playing, they are having fun, and they are even having fun with each other. At full bellies, early morning naps are just enough for these male chimps to ignore the presence of noisy tourists. These tourists are treated to rare moments with these peaceful individuals before they disappear deep inside the forest. By 1992, chimp numbers were very low due to the encroachment on their habitat and government took intensive conservation activities to restore this national pride. We do a lot of monitoring to ensure that uh, there are no bad elements coming to threaten their stay here. We also do a number of uh, patrols to ensure that uh, they are really safe inside. And uh, we also have researchers. They help to tell us which groups have probably given birth they give us information about the uh, best management practices. Chimpanzees feel much more secure under the cover of this tropical rainforest, the only remaining protected forest in the entire area. The only place where they can easily access food from is the national park here. The forest has a lot for the chimpanzees to depend on in terms of food, and uh, in terms of materials to use when they are building their nests. So uh, you find that they try to live within. And then, uh, of course, the protection that we are giving also is the other thing that makes them feel that they are very secure. But also, the communities around this forest are not so much into poaching primates. The Batoros, who are the closest neighbors to this forest, don't hunt primates. Sensitization that we do to the communities also makes them feel much more secure inside here. Still, there are other things like other monkeys which chimpanzees predate it on whenever they need meat to eat. Like humans, their families are headed by an alpha male, which takes a lead role in determining their daily activities, including movements in search for food and fresh habitats. Chimpanzees live in families, and there's a lot of bonding between members within the family. They share together their food, they hunt together, they like a big family. And also the grown-ups are social. They, they, they stay together and they help each other being, being clean. If the father does not say, let's move out the other side, you find that the family stays together. Chimpanzees have got a social structure, like in families, where you find the head of family, as in humans. And in chimpanzees, you'll find the alpha male. So this is the head of the community. Their relativeness extends further to human social behaviors in feeding, hunting, and many times chimps have been documented using tools just like humans. Genetically, chimpanzees are 98.7% are related to humans. When it comes to the way they relate with one another, this is so much close to how humans do it how the chimpanzee mothers treat their babies, ex exactly how humans do it. The park is home to Ngogo Research Chimpanzee Community, believed to be the largest chimpanzee community in the whole world. Here we've got uh, a 
community that has slightly above 30 members living together. And uh, then we've got one big community that has about 200 members living together. And this community with 200 members is a research community that is only visited by people who are coming to study chimpanzees. And this is called the Ngogo Research Chimpanzee Community. Apart from Ngogo, there are other breakaway groups which have also formed their own communities, but still wandering within the vicinity of the main community. The one that has about 35 is uh, a research group too, called the uh, Sevitoli Chimpanzee Community. And then we've got one other research community called Kanyawara Research Community, which has around 60 members. And then we have two communities for tourism called the Kanyantale Chimpanzee Community for Tourism, with about 100 to 120 members living together in a territory of about 25 to 30 square kilometers. And then we have one other community that is visited by people doing what we call the chimpanzee habituation experience. This is an activity where tourists go and stay for about four hours when they are following the chimpanzees. Chimpanzees are territorial primates and living in big numbers is everyone's obligation and a key component towards securing their communities. Chimpanzee communities never meet for peace. They only meet at the front line. So this area is uh, very close to another chimpanzee community. So they need to be many together. So that in case of any encounter with a foreign community, then they can be able to stand the fight. These communities are led by alpha males, although some individuals travel and forage in much smaller groups to avoid disputes with their masters, especially during the mating season. Social grooming is an act of submission among the low-ranking males that may want to make peace with their elders, but to some individuals, it's another way of getting a free meal. Grooming majorly is a way of cleaning one another because when you saw them grooming, they were checking for ticks. So the more you groom, the more ticks you get, and you know ticks are a good source of protein. Chibali National Park is one of the last remaining expanses in Africa to contain both lowland and mountain forests, abundant food sources for these primates. It's the presence of food that makes these chimpanzees get together in big numbers because they don't care. There will be no competition. But if food is scarce, like what we've just gone through a few months ago, you'd never find 10 chimpanzees together. Chimpanzees prefer fruits above all other food items, but also feed on leaves, seeds, stems, and the bark. They are also known to hunt both insects and other invertebrates, and sometimes kill their competitors and feed on them as a sign of dominance in the jungle. Chimpanzees are cannibals at the same time because they predate on fellow chimpanzees. And this mainly happens when chimpanzees encounter a foreign community and within the fights, one opposite community can be able to get some babies from the other community and they kill them and eat the meat. Chimpanzees are identified as priority species and one of the most ecologically important species on the planet despite being among the endangered species threatened mostly by human and other activities. These primates are susceptible to many infectious diseases that afflict humans and their protection is highly regarded during their tracking. We are supposed to have a maximum number of six tourists per group. And then these tourists are supposed to stay for only one hour with the chimpanzees. And they are supposed to maintain a distance of eight meters. That is about 24 feet between the chimpanzees and themselves as the observers. Chibare's varied vegetation offers different varieties of wildlife habitat, ranging from the moist evergreen forest along the Fort Porto Plateau 
to the woodland and savanna along the rift valley floor. This vegetation rises above 55 meters, establishing a semi-closed canopy of massive stratified tree crowns, mostly around Kanyanchu, located in the central part of the park. The high forest cover here is dominated by a mixture of the evergreen tree species assorted with a variety of ferns, shrubs, forest grasses and a scant undergrowth. In terms of flora, we have a number of tree species and the, most of them is dental and medicinal. And that is really puts a lot of value to these trees. There are trees like uh, Bogia, it's also medicinal, Ficus, different species of Ficus, uh, which are liked by mainly primates. Chibade is perfect ground to East Africa's biggest population of the most endangered apes, particularly the red colobus monkeys, the black and white colobus, red-tailed monkeys, blue monkeys, and the olive baboons. There are, however, other unique wildlife species being conserved under Chibade National Park, particularly the forested area. Baboons are some of the dominant primate species in this forest, but majority have abandoned the forest and now feed along the Fort Porto Kamwenge Road. Also conserve other animals like elephants. We have elephants in this forest. We have a few buffaloes. And the one thing is that uh, this park is connected with the, uh, Queen Elizabeth National Park. So there is that movement of animals from Queen to Kibale and vice versa. We have reptiles here, monta lizards, uh, here snakes, uh, here there are people who love snakes. The Chibare Forest Walk Trail is 12 kilometers long and its hiking tours offer an opportunity to discover the park's assorted habitats such as riverine forest, swamp, grassland and tropical rainforest. The park is a home to 325 different bird species including six that are native to the Albertine Rift Valley area. One of them which is very, very attractive, which brings people here is this one here. This is the green-breasted pita. It's one of those thought after bad in this national park. People come all the way from Europe just trying to see this bird here. And then we have parrots. Parrots are so many in this park and uh, we have tried to ensure that uh, even when they go out, they come back because of the availability of food in this uh, park. The humility and hospitality of the neighboring communities has made Chibale National Park visitors feel home and created an enabling environment for their coexistence with the park. Ugandan people are so friendly everywhere. They always, as soon as you just say, Uliocha Sebu, they are so happy and they smile. <laughs> and yeah, so really in, in general of all, it is uh, so nice to be here, to travel here, because people are so friendly. This relationship paid off with favorable offers from the park authorities in serving its conservation purposes. These people are doing crafts, some of them are guides or porters at our visitor centers. Some people have come up with their own facilities, small, small facilities, but they give them earning. So this one also brings in uh, happiness to the people who are getting something from the park. First of all, the major benefit which the communities in the Barankiba National Park benefit from this park is firewood is on high demand from the people who neighbor this park. So when they come and they request and we allow it to be collected in a sustainable way, 
I see these people really happy of the presence of the park. These waivers have over the years contributed to the increased population pressure on the park boundaries, which poses a threat to not only the wildlife habitat, but also the park for food, fuel wood, and other resources which have made human-wildlife conflict inevitable. We are now registering a lot of conflict uh, between the people and the animals. Park authorities have, however, conducted a number of community conservation activities to mend the relationship with the neighboring communities. We allow communities access to certain resources within the national park uh, through agreements, we sign agreements with the communities, uh, access to some of these resources like grass for thatching their houses, poles for building, medicinal plants. Then we have another mode of awareness where we take mobile clinic services to the communities. It is one way of motivating the communities and if they are aware that we shall have mobile clinic services, we shall have a big turn up than when we go to do awareness without anything to give back to them. Kichwamba sub-county in Kasese district has recently been the most affected part of the neighboring communities and this called for permanent interventions from the park authorities in all affected areas. Management has embarked on constructing trenches along that area. So we hope that in the near future we shall have few or no uh, attacks to the communities because we shall have a permanent intervention in place. Uh, management is also thinking of how to come up with electric fence which is currently in Queen. We hope it will also roll down to Chivale and if that is done then that problem of elephants attacking people in this sub-county will be history. Chibadi National Park is continuous with Queen Elizabeth National Park, the most popular savanna park in Uganda. This simplified its accessibility from nearby cities, including the capital city, Kampala. You are coming from Kampala, uh, you travel to Fort Portal City, and then from Fort Portal City, you take. Kamwenge Road, you move 22 kilometers, you come to Kibale National Park. If you are coming from Mbarra side, you can come through Ibanda, and uh, after Kamwenge, you will enter uh, Kibale National Park. The park is also connected with daily domestic flights from Kajansi Airfield, and Mashishon Falls National Park. It offers a wide range of tented camps and safari lodges inside and outside the park, and some visitors are accommodated under community-run campsites close to the villages of Chikonyi, Biakarongo, and Nyaibanda. In this park, we have one concessionaire, and that is the Great Lakes Safaris. They have a lodge called Primate Lodge. Uh, they are the only ones who offer accommodation inside the forest. However, as we are, we also have accommodation, but we don't really take many people. We decided that we let the private sector provide accommodation and let's concentrate on conservation. Chimpanzee tracking is a fascinating and fun activity attracting over 8,000 visitors every year to Chibale National Park. The over 5,000 resident chimpanzees in Chibale National Park have transformed the entire ecosystem of the park. Today, hundreds of wildlife species find life in this forested national park. <laughs>